one of the main reasons that we try to organize our time is so that we're able to accomplish our goals. We're able to be productive and to have positive outcomes that lead to like a positive mood and mindset. Whatever practices you choose to implement into your life, you begin to reap benefits. And so one benefit that would be as you begin doing activities, you have better focus and concentration. And when you have better focus and concentration during an activity, you're able to get those things done in a shorter amount of time with less effort. And so then you have more energy to focus on the next thing. And so there's sort of like a pattern here, a cascade effect. So just implementing one change in your life, kind of you begin to reap one benefit that cascades into other areas of your life and benefits you in other ways is professionally, we begin managing our time better. Maybe we start making to-do lists every day or we start waking up early so we can get more done. We begin to meet deadlines. And also as we meet these deadlines, we have positive um, mood about it because I mean, we're accomplishing goals. And so as we continue to work, our quality of work increases. And then it starts to enhance, you know, your reputation and your credibility and other people start to take notice, maybe your supervisors or your other colleagues or other um, organizations that you work with, with or volunteers. And so that begins to open up more opportunities because people take notice. And I, I feel when you focus on yourself and you start uh, working to be the best that you can be in the environment that you're in, that's when opportunities kind of come to you. And so in the personal well-being side of that, um, as you begin to implement these practices, you sort of have more of an increased self-awareness. So you're able to really understand how you use your time and what you use it for. And so you have less stress. Again, your goals are being met and you're having more of a positive mood, which carries into our personal life with our relationships. Um, we're able to really invest in them and be present when we're with our family and friends, which begins to uh, improve our environment. So our internal state reflects our external state and that begins to improve our state of well-being.